My name is Stephen John Irby. I'm 28 years old, born and raised in New York. I am the social director, editor at large, and co-founder for Street Dreams Magazine. And I take pictures too. What I like the most about photography is the sense of freedom, um, how therapeutic it is. And photography is the only thing that no one can judge you for your race, your sex, what you're into, what you don't like, what you do like. It's all about photography. Uh, pictures speak a thousand words and I feel that photography is actually giving me a voice. I learned a lot of stuff from different photographers that I met through Instagram and on top of that I bought a film camera about two years ago and that just shot strictly filming on my iPhone. And the hashtag that I created at the time was 16 by 9 vibes and then that, through that hashtag Eric found me. He was still living out in Vancouver and he reached out to me through my barber and he was like, hey, can you put me in contact with Steve? And then when we ended up hanging out and meeting that, when he, when he finally came down to New York, that's when we really came up with the whole idea with Street Dreams Magazine. So Street Dreams Magazine started once upon a time on the internet, and it started with three people. It was Eric Veloso, Michael Carubio, and myself, Stephen Irby. The reason why we started the magazine was to make an equal playing field for everyone. Um, we felt that there wasn't um, a voice to represent us, and we wanted to represent the work for everybody in our demographic and for photographers in general without the creative boundaries. So when Eric um, approached me about the magazine, at first we wanted to do a digital, but Eric actually bumped into somebody in Vancouver who had a printing press. So we ended up just making our first issue for about 200, uh, 200 copies, 300 copies the most. And then from there, we're up to our seventh issue now. Um, we do quarterly issues, and it's just crazy to see the growth of you know, the photography community really backing everything that we've been doing with this, especially because we are really trying to represent everyone in the community. But we actually print um, the top 72 pictures um, from our hashtag into the magazine, so everyone can be involved in the magazine. Uh, so we feature six photographers, three males and three females, no matter what their following count or where they're from. And then we feature a bunch of people that we picked from the Street Dreams Mac hashtag. So we started expanding to people like uh, Geo and Sighting. Um, he's done, you know, enormous things for us uh, with everything from the visual merchandising, the visual marketing for us. Um, he's, he has a really strong ear to the streets and also he has a very, very strong vision as a photographer. Uh, linking up with people like Dave, Dave was somebody that I met through um, an Instagram meetup and then now we've been friends for over about a year or so now and he's one of our main, he's our community lead. My name is Dave Krugman. I'm a photographer and I'm the community lead for Street Dreams Magazine. When I first downloaded Instagram, I, I kind of just used it like a visual journal. And then I started to notice that there was a really serious um, and very talented group of photographers that were using Instagram as their platform, their main platform for sharing their work. One of those photographers was Steve Sweatpants. So, you know, we started talking and collaborating and, and you know, sending each other pictures and stuff like that. And then he came to me and said, you know, I, I just founded this magazine called Street Dreams Magazine. I took a look at it. I thought it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And uh, I, was, I was happy to, to throw my hat in the ring and, and it's been quite a journey since. There's so much noise out there. And what's important is to have curation and not just any arbitrary curation and, and not an algorithms curation but the curation of you know, a group of people, a collective, that say, there's more work than we can possibly see, uh, but what if we can take the best of that work and distill it down and, and put it in print and kind of immortalize it? And that, to me, was just such a brilliant idea that I was so happy to become involved with that. For Street Dreams Magazine, I help bond the community together. I help uh, you know, make connections with different brands and businesses. I help plan the events. We do all sorts of walks, get-togethers just kind of trying to push the platform and take this digital space into the real world. There's so many advantages to, to having a collective and having a collective of the right people. You know, we all lean on each other for support. I moved to New York because I thought it was the most iconic city to do photography in, especially street photography. And the fact that Street Dreams is, you know, so closely connected to New York is, is just the right fit. I think Street Dreams Mag is really important for our community um, and to me as well is because 
is the main thing is of having a place um, in the photography world. I feel that a lot of people are looking for acceptance for things and they don't get the acceptance that they feel they should. So creating this platform is not only opening the eyes for uh, people who are just getting into photography, like um, even myself, I've only been taking photos for about three years, but it's opening the eyes for people who've been in photography for like, over 10 years or so or 20 years or so. Creating that equal playing field for people is really important because there's not a, a, a level system with street dreams. It's all about being inclusive as possible. Hey, my name is Gio, aka Inciting. I'm 25 years old and I'm part of the visual marketing team of Street Dreams. I met Steve through social, uh, through Instagram. Uh, we, we follow each other, we like each other's work, and then we, you know, we arrange a meeting to shoot around the city. Street Dreams is important for me because it reflects who I am. I like my words to be shared with others. And I also, also respect the movement, the fact that we're, we're out there trying to represent other people and also bring people together. If you think about it, we live in a melting pot of different ideas and creativeness. So basically, coming from New York, where we're exposed to different type of cultures and all kinds of photography. Pierre shoots his fashion stuff. You got Dave Krugman, who shoots a little bit of everything. You got Steve. So we all have our own traits. And it's, it's fun because when we interact, we get to learn about each other. It's a great partnership because we all get to learn from each other. We also, we also get to evolve because there's certain things that we might not know of each other or photography that we're able to learn as a team. It doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter where you live, um, we still can work together. Um, and the prime example is that is, is Eric and Mike live in Vancouver and I live in New York and we made six issues together and planned six events. So, uh, and hopefully we can do this for a very long time until I'm a very old man.